Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today's look that I'm going to be doing for you is featuring the Naked Urban Decay Smoky Palette. I'm going to be doing um, kind of a smoky eye, but using more of the brown colors instead of the dark colors that are in here. I'm going to be using some of the browns, maybe a little bit of the grays, you know, in here, but uh, as you can tell, I already have my eyebrows done and my foundation's already done, and I just recently bought this LA Colors Face Contour Palette, and then I just recently bought some brushes, so you're going to see some new brushes in this tutorial. So if you want to see how this turns out, um, please keep watching. So yeah, I already did foundation and everything on my face, I did my eyebrows and everything, and I bought this Equal Tools, new Equal Tools uh, powder brush, and I took the color from this contour kit I to set everything. I used this shade right here, you can see that, yeah, to, I used that shade right there. It looks lighter on camera, but it's actually the perfect shade for my face right now. I'm taking a break from using my matte um, powder, so um, I just wanted to try this out, and I will be contouring with this with this palette too, so. Okay, now we're going to go in with my primer, and I like to use a brush to apply this. I was using my fingers, but I figured a brush makes it better and makes it blend. So, we're going to put this all over, even underneath the brow, in the inner corner, basically wherever we're going to put an eyeshadow, that's where I'm going to prime my eyes with. Okay, now that that's done for an all over eyeshadow, I'm going to go into my smoky naked palette and I, I'm not going to use the brush that it comes with, I'm just going to use this new one from Equal Tools, it's an all over shadow brush. So I'm going to go into the color Combust, so I'm going to use this shade right here. That's going to go all over the eyelid as well. I'm like sweating right now. It's hot. I wish it was winter already. It'd be nice and cozy with my scarves and sweater dresses and boots and leggings. And then I wouldn't be having my hair up right now. And I just took a shower before I made this video, so yeah. It's pretty hot in here. Okay, so now we're going to take a different shadow brush and for our transition color we're going to go in with Radar. So we're going to go in with that color right here. That'll be our transition color. doesn't really show up. So, do that on the other eye. So, ok, 
Okay, and I actually switched it up a little bit. The color com uh, radar was kind of like a shimmery color, and it wasn't really showing up. So I took the same shadow brush, a blending shadow brush, and I went into my contour palette, and I used this shade and this shade right here together to make it kind of like a smoky uh, brown eyeshadow. So kind of blending those two together and I'll probably use one of those colors too to go to the bottom lash line so now I'm going to go back to my naked palette and actually for the lid I'm going to take this I'm going to take back my all over eyeshadow brush from Eco Tools and go into the color high, which is this color right here. So I'm going to dip my brush into that and a little bit of combust, a little bit of the same color that I used for my all over eyeshadow. So we're going to mix those two together. And that's what I'm going to put on my eyelid. I'm only going to concentrate this color on the lid. Okay, and as my highlight, I'm going to take the color high. I'm just going to put it right here, right underneath my brow bone. See, sorry, having to adjust the camera. And this palette, this smoky palette from Urban Decay is actually worth the money. It is $58. I got it at Sephora. I know $58 is a lot. I can get a lot of makeup products for that much, but I really, really wanted to get this palette. So, I, I just really wanted to get it. I had to get my hands on it. Just cleaning off any fall out. And instead of doing a black um, liner, I think I'm going to use Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. I think I'm going to use that for the lash line. So it's in a pen like this. There's one side that has the actual eyeshadow in it, and then there's another side that's got the sparkle. So I think I'm going to use this one. Just to give a little bit of a bling. Oh, 
actually looks really, really pretty. Let's see. Oh yeah, that looks very beautiful. So, do the same thing on the other eye. Good thing about this is not like it's not a black liner, so you don't have to be super precise. Sorry, I had to put the mirror in front of it. Okay. Okay, there we go. And now I'm going to smoke out my bottom lash line. So I'm going to take the brush from the Naked palette and dip it into my contour kit. Actually no, dip it into the Naked and the color, I'm going to be using the color Whiskey right here. take a little bit I'm smoke it out <sighs> this is still wet so I think I put some on my eye I don't know I'm not sure about this yet it looks pretty but I'm not sure how to put it on my eye yet And then to blend that all out, I'm going to go back to my contour palette. And I'm going to dip it into the darkest shade right here. So just kind of dip it in there. And I'm also going to put that on my on the bottom. Now we're going to go back to the face. I am going to contour with the same palette. Let's see, I'm going to use the mi I'm going to use the middle shade right here. It's a contour on my new. Uh, it says it's a angled brush. This one I got it. This one, I think it's called Danielle, but I got it at Ross for like four bucks. So, so I was looking for one, and I wasn't able to find one that I would like. I usually like the bamboo um, brushes. See, I have a whole bunch of bamboo brushes. They're just, I don't know. I, I seem to like them better. For some reason, I just I just like them maybe because not just because they're bamboo, but um, I don't know. But anyways, I'm gonna contour. Wow, that is a little bit dark. So it is a little bit dark. Okay. Let's see. 
see. It's pretty dark. And I actually decided to change it up a little bit. Um, I actually decided to put the um, this stuff, you know, the line art, all over my lids. And since it was already spreading that way, I'm just waiting for it to dry. And then I'll blend out. I'll blend it out and, you know, finish the whole look. But, um,. Yeah, and then I also tried the contour palette. These colors don't seem very, very dark. You know, when you see them on here, even on camera, they don't seem very, very dark, but you have to be careful. I had to wipe a little bit of it off because it was so dark on my face. So, I already have my contour on, and as this is drying, I'm going to go on with my blush. I'm going to take my JB JLB Cosmetics Palette Blush Palette and I'm going to use this shade in the middle okay For the lips, for the lips, hmm. I am actually going to use something different. I am actually going to use some lip balm. This is from Walgreens. It's their little beeswax lip balm. And I'm going to use um, Modern Matte Lipstick from Jordana in the shade Matte It Girl. And then to put over the top, I'm going to use Wet n Wild High Shine Lip Stain in their Fergie Collection in the shade Ball in Vienna. So I'm actually going to use a lip brush for this.
I decided to change it up a little bit instead of doing my uh, usual, you know, my usual lip gloss. I decided to go with pink because I am wearing pink. So, go with this purpley pink color. Just wanted to fill it in with your lip brush. And now I'll go over the top of it with that Fergie lip stain, lip gloss color. So now, I'm going to use a highlighter. I'm going to go in with my Frig Wet n Wild Fruity Collection highlighter in uh, Rose Champagne Glow. And with my fan brush. This is actually the best highlighter I've found so far. So, I'm going to put on my mascara and maybe put some black liner since I changed my mind. And then I'll get back to you guys. Okay, guys, this is the finished look. Um, if you're wondering what I used for my eyeliner, I used my Wet n Wild H2O Proof Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Ultra Black. So I used that for my top lash line and if you're wondering what I used for my eyelashes, um, I used my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. So, And then for... I don't know if I did my lips already. I think I did. Yeah, so yeah, that is it for today's tutorial. Um, Thumbs up if you like this video, and uh, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye!